Hey guys, Ojel Bine here, bringing you guys our BBL Season 9, week number, what? Um, week 6 battle <laughs> against Tone and his Miami Mala Marlins. Uh, Tone's a really cool dude, we've played him plenty of times in the past, he's a very solid player and he has a really cool Gypsy King-esque team, at least the top 3 are. Um, so definitely go check out Tone in the description below, he's a cool dude, he's a very good player. He's having a pretty solid season so far, but we gotta win. I think if we beat him, we... Pretty much confirmed playoffs. I think six wins is guarantee, guarantee, but five wins is like 99% sure. So I love to grab a win. Uh, but yeah, if you guys do enjoy today's Wi Fi battle, be sure to drop a like on the video as well as sub to the channel. We are on our way to 1,000. Um, at the time of recording this, I'm at 927. Uh, so we're really, really close. So if you want to help us out, honestly, if everybody who watched this video today ended up liking the video or subbing to the channel, we would hit it ASAP. So I'd appreciate if you help me out. Yeah, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the team build. Do do quick little team builders just so you can see what we're bringing and why we're bringing in it. So you have that context, knowledge, and background going into the battle. Um, if you want to skip ahead, there's a timestamp on the screen as well as in the description below when that starts. Alrighty, let's do it. So, our team, if you did forget, consists of Lunala, Garchomp, Buzzwall, Togekiss, Drapion, Metagross, Raikou, Suicune, Rabombi, and Roselia. While our, while our opponent's team is at the bottom of the screen, it consists of Ho-Oh, Garchomp, damn it, Ho-Oh, <laughs> Landorus T, Beanie, Tangrowth, Alolan Ninetales, Mew, Scolipede, Conkelder, gotta play it twice, um, Regigigas, Togedemaru, and Guzzlord. Now, biggest threats right off the bat. Ho-Oh is very, very annoying for my team to switch into long term. Things like Suicune really, really struggle with their longevity, especially into like Feeny matchups. Um, it can be really tough. Same thing with something like Garchomp, where I can switch in on Sacred Fires and things like that, and even Brave Birds with like a helmet variant. Um, I am running the risk of being burned if that terrain isn't up, and that's not good for a Garchomp. <laughs> so we're going to have to be very careful when it comes to that uh, and positioning around that thing. Landers can be very annoying if it's like a mixed variant or even just like a Scarf variant that just U-turns forever, tips down my buzzwall, and then just wins the game. Uh, so that could be really, really scary. Feeny, Calm Mind Feeny can do a number on our team. So again, have to be very, very careful. I have almost zero offensive or defensive counterplay to a Calm Mind Feeny. And then Mew is incredibly, incredibly annoying for us to deal with, whether it be Stallbreaker, whether it be a setup Calm Mind variant, um, whether it be, you know, even a Dragon Dance variant, um, as Buzz was pretty forced in a lot. And obviously, still weak to Psychic, even though he probably choose a plus one and plus two um, Psychic Fangs. Still something we're going to want to keep into account. So, uh, yeah, this matchup's really, really tough. Regardless, so we can go ahead and jump on into it. Our first member is going to be, of course, our Uber in Lunala, rocking out the Power Herb. Shadow Shield is its ability. Moon Geist Beam. I wrote down Power Herb as a move. Meteor Beam, Ice Beam, and Roost. Uh, yeah, we're Meteor Beam Lunala, not Power Herb Lunala uh, as a move. Uh, which is really, really solid in this game. Since it gives me a nuke on something like Ho-Oh, it gets me up to plus one. Um, it allows me to potentially sweep through this team in the end game as you can probably see it's a very very slow draft There are things that can out prioritize me Scarvers and things like that um, But for the most part Lunala is really really fast in this matchup and has great offensive coverage between ghost and ice We hit everything very very hard outside of something like Regigigas uh, But even then uh, that's a Regigigas and I don't expect it to really come and if it does we can whittle it down over time I I'm not too worried about that um, and yeah, it's just a very solid set. We have a rooster or something like agility or something like that because I would like to have reliable recovery and be able to roost up on some things, um, get my shadow shield back, take some hits a little bit better, things like that. So we'll roost there instead of agility. And yeah, it's a pretty simple set. Power will nuke the ho oh and give us a plus one boost to kind of rip through everything else. Next up, we have our Garchomp rocking out with the Lumberry. Rough skin as its ability, earthquake, rock size, stealth rock, and toxic. We got max attack. 12 defense and 244 speed with a jolly nature. Very self explanatory set. This is going to be a nice pivot to Ho Ho initially. It's going to be a very solid rocker. It gets up rocks very easily when Ho Ho comes in. If it wants to stay in, we have Rock Slide for it. And then we have Toxic mainly for the Landers, because I think that's going to be a good initial pivot. I actually think Tangrowth sucks into me, so I don't expect it to come. But even if it does, as long as Terrain isn't up, we can Toxic that thing, which is awesome. Um, and then Earthquake for just general strong stab. And once Landers is gone, or the Tangrowth does, and the Tangrowth doesn't come. Uh, Earthquake and Rock Slide are really, really free in this matchup. Now, again, that's a big if, but if we do do that, we're in a good spot, which is nice. And especially if we get a Toxic on Landorus, that plus like coming and taking a Rock Slide and Hail if that comes and things like that, we'll be able to pressure these things pretty, pretty hard. 
Next up, we have our Buzzball, Rocking Out the Rocky Helmet, Beast Boost, is Ability, Drain Punch, Poison Jab, Ice Punch, and Boost. 244 HP, 44 Attack, 124 Defense, 4 Spread F, and 92 Speed with an Impish Nature. Um, this is going to serve as our main Lando pivot. It serves as a good pivot into Konk, a good pivot into Skolipib, a good pivot into a physical Guzzlord, which could potentially come as well if we're like Calm Mind Lunala. It might not want to be special. So yeah, Buzzle's just an overall phenomenal, phenomenal Pokemon in this matchup. Pivots into most of his physical offense. It's not named Ho-Oh, and kind of deters them to make them switch out. I Poison Jab over Rock Slide because I want a way to hit Feeny hard, uh, as I feel like I have plenty of Rock coverage on the rest of my team for Ho-Oh. It's not something I'm really willing to predict anyways, um, especially when Ho-Oh can kind of just regen it off. This thing is really here to get a lot of Helmet Chip, Roost Up, Switch Out, um, is at least how I plan on playing it. Next up, we have our Raikou rocking out with the leftovers, pressure, its ability, T Bolt, Scald, Calm Mind, and Substitute. We got 44 HP, max special attack, 212 speed with the Timid Nature. Very self explanatory set. If we get a Toxic on something like Tangrowth where it doesn't come, um, and same thing with like Guzzlord, Sub CM goes absolutely buck wild on this team, uh, which is really, really nice. It gives us a way to break the Feeny Ho uh, Landers core pretty decently enough. Uh, plus one is going to be chunking really everything, even things like Tangrowth, unless they're Assault Vest. Uh, so, you know, Raikou can do very good. It's a good potential endgame win con once things are whittled down and in range. Next up, we have our Breaker. This game in Choice Band Metagross. Uh, clear Body is its ability, Meteor Mash Explosion, Rocks and Bullet Punch. Eevee's I got 68 HP, max attack, and 8, 188 speed with an adamant nature. This is pretty self explanatory, guys. This is a Metagross. He is here to click buttons, hit things hard, and eventually boom on something. If you look at Tone's team, he does not have a normal resist at all. He does not have a normal immunity at all. No, I'm not counting Togunamaru. Um, <laughs> so, and obviously that thing fears Earthquake and a bunch of different things. And honest to God, if I can kind of position this thing early, get off a Meteor Mash or two. I'll be in a really good spot, and then from there I can kind of just boom uh, after pivoting in on, you know, something weaker, maybe outspeeding it, or just living two hits, because I'm still in Metagross despite being really offensive, um, and just claiming something with boom as it occurs a lot of things on our opponent's team. Then we have a Suicune. We are Rest Talk Calm Mind with a Rocky Helmet. Now I know this is a very odd bring to see in the Feeny matchup. I understand that, but one, terrain isn't always going to be up. Two, if terrain isn't up, I think this set just wins. If we can Scald Burn something like the Tangrowth, if we can um, kind of just start setting up in front of... It really, again, if it's not Soul Breaker Mew or um, Tangrowth left, this thing just wins. And it's really hard for Tone to deal with it. Uh, and I'm going to play to a game where hopefully I can eliminate the Feeny early and fast, take a lot of damage off on it so that I can set up and win with my Suicune a little bit later. So that's the main game plan, um, is to whittle down everything with things like Lunala, Garchomp, Buzzpool, Metagross especially, and then win with either one of my sub mine legendary dogs. Uh, but yeah, with that being said, that's enough for the team builder. Be right back to the battle. Alrighty guys, here we are at the battle. We are connected with Mr. Tone. Let's see what he ended up bringing. Um, I'm presuming all the top heavy scary stuff, like the Landers and the Beanie and the Ho-Oh probably. So I'm just gonna write those down because no shot they don't come, right? No shot they don't. Um, uh, Lando with Sh-Tarian formation. Then we have, it's gonna be Feeny for sure, right? What else can I soul read that's gonna come? What else can I soul read? I could see maybe in a little in Nine Tails. But like, out. I doubt it, we'll see though. What does he even have? I should probably like refresh myself, right? Let's open up my prep dock. Because he's uh it's taken here. It's taking a second here, which is never a never a good sign. But hopefully we don't end up DCing. Or you guys will be seeing a showdown game as I'm not recreating on Wi-Fi. Um there's a tango. Oh, Mew's definitely coming in some way, shape, and form, as it is a Mew. Um I would not be surprised to see Conk come, as it rails me. Kelder. Um, what else will come? Maybe Scolipede? Spikes are really good against me, <laughs> and I brought no removal. Um, I could also see, yeah, I could see Scolipede coming, like some kind of Endeavor spiking set. Oh no, we see a Guzzlord, so I was right for everything, except for that Scolipede that I was about to type in, we have Guzzlord. So we have Ho-Oh, Feeny, Mew, Landorus, um, Kunkelder and Guzzlord. What are we going to lead off with? 
is the real question. Um, he's probably the Guzzlord for our Lunala. Maybe he's AV or maybe he's a, uh, what's the Fairy Berry? I forget, Roselli Berry? Um, regardless, what do I want to lead with? I think I want to lead with Jelly Toast. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Um, and I might even just like raw boom turn one if it's not a ho-ho lead. I'll be 100% honest. Because it just nets me a KO immediately. Doesn't it? Let me check if I Oko a max HP ho-oh. I Oko defensive ho-oh depending on the spread, like how much defense he has. Um, so he's going to lead Mew. No way you're like wisping Mew, right? Do I want to just eat your mash? I don't switch into this shit. I don't break it super well. I think I'm just going to mash. Yeah, he just rocks. So he's faster than me. He is stealth rock. And they go up immediately. I wonder if I Oko this, if it's offensive. That's fucking- Oh, he crit him. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> um, let's see. So crit was a roll if he was max HP. Um, so I, I won't ever really find much out about that. I am a plus one banded Metagross now. Um... <laughs> I feel bad. That's pretty tough. Heat Nix. This is a, definitely a pretty fair pivot here. Um, what's my switching? Probably initially, Garchomp. Because I am Lum. Um, and I can get up my rocks, which is really clutch. Like, super, super clutch. So I think that's what we'll do. Sacred Fire is really free against my team. Even into things like uh, Suicune, because he deals with Suicune so well. I'm gonna get a burn immediately. No burn. So he gets no information on my item. Um, therefore, I'm going to rocks up. Yeah. I'm just gonna rocks up. Rocks are very, very clutch here. Um, really gonna help me out in chipping down his team. He could make the Feeny play. Oh, nice conk. <laughs> cool. Um, so we get up rocks here, which is great. And then from here, I think I go Buzzle. Yeah, I think I'll go Buzzle here. I'll chip him down with Helmet if he wants to knock or Ice Punch. Um, and from there, we can just pepper him down with Drain Punches. It's a very aggressive, hard comp play. I kind of wish I Earthquake. I'm pretty sure I owe two a KO max HP conk with a Garchomp, as I am a Garchomp. Ah, uh, no, he has to be offensive for me to do it, KO, I'm guaranteed. Which is annoying, but... Knock off! Which is fine. Protective pads is what his item is. Very interesting. Um... Very, very interesting. He's protective pads conk. Okay, let's write that down. Drain punch up. Fire punch. Okay. It's not bounce. No burn. And a drain punch again. I don't I don't see much downside in doing so. Um he can make the ho-o play now. Be back. Alrighty guys, we're back. Um, I'm just gonna drain punch as that's what I clicked before. Kinda wishing I doubled out here, but oh well. Yeah, because he's just gonna go into ho-oh. Oh no, that's not ho oh. I mean this is good information. Let's see what item he is. He's rocks, so he's not boots tapu fini. Um so this is nice, I'll take this. It's a good big ground though, it makes sense on his point, uh from his perspective. Why he would click said move. 
I do maybe 20%. I can always switch it on conch. Which is good. And there's not leftovers as far as I can tell. And I think I'm actually going to go Metagross. Just on Fini. You see a Moonblast. How much of my buzz will do? About max HP damage. That was a fuck ton. Okay. I don't switch in anything. I'm slower than most things. I'm going to boom. Take a KO. I get something here. I get something here. There is nothing you can do about it. This thing is still getting chipped, so it's fine. This dies. Give me one. This dies. He has to be like max fizz def to live this hit. Let's go. You ever knock out a ho oh with a fucking Metagross? <laughs> Let's go, baby. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. That is amazing for me. Um. From here, I'll go Garchomp. Garchomp good, exerts good immediate pressure on most things. I can switch in my Buzzwall on the, what do you call it? Very easy as well. The Conk. Um, if Feeny comes in, I low-key think I will just Earthquake. And we will go from there. Point Stone's pointed to me. Point Stone's pointed to him. He is more offensive. Like, that shit kind of showed. I have a chance to knock him out here. I don't really switch into Tapu Fini, and this thing being chipped means that my Suicune just wins the game. So I'm just gonna click Earthquake. Yeah, I'll take this damage. Crit? Oh, he just died. So, we're up. Uh, what? Three to something? <laughs> I'll take it. I will take it. Um, and that means that my, what do you call it? My Suicune can just like win the game. If Lando comes out, I Toxic it. If Guzzlord comes out, I Earthquake it, obviously. If Kong comes out, I think I Earthquake it as well. I don't need this Pokemon anymore. I don't have a Dragon move for Guzzlord because I kind of under prep for it. Um, Malakath. Yeah, I think I Toxic this thing, but not a timer. It is above the ground, so I can indeed toxic it. I'll find out if he's Scarf or not. Scarf will probably knock me out here. One second, buddy. I'm recording, okay? Okay, I'm almost done. I'll be right out, alright, bub? Toxic. We do land, which is phenomenal. I will indeed take it. Now, I know he's not Scarf, so I have a very free Lunala and a very free Ice Beam. He's Leftovers as well. So yeah, we just go hard Lunala. And we always Ice Beam. The Mishtiness dif uh, disappears from the battlefield. And I think we're in a pretty commanding position to win this game from here. I think that explosion just like super helped us out. Choice Ben, Metagross go boom is the thumbnail. Um, I've decided. Uh, but yeah, we just Ice Beam here. Super free, we're creeping this, we're faster. He's left over, so we know he's out Scarf uh, knockoff, and even if he was Scarf, he'd be Scarf and DQ, which we do indeed live. If he wants to go Guzzlord, uh, if he's not Assault Vest, he'll get two AKO'd after rocks. Bam! Yeah. After rocks, ah, if he's like Spadef, it doesn't. But that's if he's Spadef leftovers. If he's not Spadef leftovers. Okay, so we're just gonna Ice Beam. I'm just gonna attack and chip down whatever comes in. I have no reason to overplay. 
So down goes Landorus. Um, Gussington's is going to come in next, which we will just Ice Beam. Yeah, we're not going to overplay. This thing has no form of setup, so we don't have to worry about like some weakness policy bullshit. Uh, because it'll always be in like Guzzlord Lord range. Or, uh... Or my other dude. Forget his name. I'll just Ice Beam. Assault Vest is Hail. Assault Vest is Hail! Wah! <laughs> um, that kind of helps us out diff-wise. I won't lie. I'm gonna Meteor Beam here. <laughs> um, I show my I show my teams with my team village anyways. I mean that helps us out for diff. <coughs> yeah, I'm just gonna play it. That's super assault vest though. Um, yeah, I'm sorry about that crit. Obviously that blows, but I don't think it matters in the grand scheme of things. I'm gonna try and play for sweeping here though. Oh, we haven't thought so it doesn't even matter. Uh, we are going to die unless we live because no more item. Let's go! I did that on purpose. That was why I did that. Um, so the freeze didn't matter. Let's go. <laughs> we will ice beam. And then when Kant comes out, it can't mock punch me. Even if it is max HP. And she dies from where it's at to a plus one moon ice beam. It takes 82 minimum. Let's say he's no HP but max but death because he's a lot of HPs. Nope, he still dies. 71 min. So that is going to be GG. We're going to have another Luna all asleep. Uh, but I really think it was kind of off the back of Metagross. And Metagross going crazy. Um, picking up the per turn one crit on the Mew was huge for me in case he was like Wisp or something. Um, and then picking up the boom kill was incredible as well. So we're just going to Moonguys Beam. Send it off with a cool animation. And Luna is going to go crazy. And I think we clinch playoffs. More than likely clinch playoffs. Just what? Five and one, I think, is what we are. I don't know. We'll see. Um, yeah, this is going to die. Let's go. Um, GG's Atone, again, he got a little bit lucky there, um, especially in the beginning. I think the Meteor Mash was really unfortunate. Other than that, none of the ch hacks mattered. I think it was just the, um, what do you call it, the freeze on the Guzzlord, but it unthought immediately, and I Meteor Beamed anyways, so like, I lived. So we saw exactly how it would have played out anyways. Um, I don't know if I would have made that play though. I probably would have just spammed Ice Beam, I'll be honest, because I just needed damage for um, something like Kong to win. Uh, because there's there's no shot that the Buzz Lord, uh, the, the Buzz Lord, the uh, Conk Heldor could win. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, drop a like. If you're new here, drop a sub. And I'll see you guys next time. Okay.